we're talking about it, I fold this in inside of our reload book. Okay? And I've already written it up there, so in a minute I'll raise it for you, and I want you to read it to yourself first. Then I want you to think about the words the author chose to include in this sentence. And if you can tell me anything about any of the words included, I want them to be fine. Okay? I see a lot of thumbs sideways, so why don't you turn somebody close to you and tell them just what you're thinking. It's very suspenseful, I think. Okay. What are some of the words that um, contribute to the details you're talking about? Are there any words specifically that made you say, there's good detail in that sentence? It's kind of like her tail strip, stripe went dark as they quietly swam, so I'm kind of thinking they're like sneaking or something. Okay, so this, wor this word here, this quietly, and what is, is quietly describing a word in a sentence? Um, swam. It's swim. describing swam. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm imagining how the dragon is swimming through the water, doing it quietly. So this is describing this. Let's, I want to talk about this one right here. Swam. What part of the speech is swam? Somebody take a common label that word with what part of speech it is. Nadia, because she might need some of your help. Remember, show me your signs if it's what you were thinking as well. What kind of word do you think swam is? Oh, you know what? I like what Nadia noticed. She noticed this is a different version of swim. swim. And I see that you wrote plural, swim, and swam. When, when is this happening? Oh. <gasps> I'll let her write it so I can see that you're thinking. Past him for swim. Did anybody think that? Okay. Somebody think they can come and label it with something else? She's right. It's past tense for the word swim. Bella, I can see that you're really excited to come up here. Go ahead. Oh, she added something to what Nadia wrote. What did she add? Past tense verb. Past tense verb. Turn to your partner. 
general for detoxing about what a bird is? A bird is a bird. It's 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 an action verb. So we can even label it some more and say it's an action verb. Now I want to go back to this word quietly. What part of speech do we think quietly? Is it this is a this is a verb, it's an action verb. What do we think that has even been like that one? What part of speech it is? Landry, you want to try? She wrote describing her. You know what word I love that she wrote right here? Describing. It's quite like describing how the dragon swam. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And and she's right about it being a describing. What is it? Describing what? What do you want to say, Bella? Adjective. Adjective. We know adjectives do what? Describe. Describe. They describe now. things. Guess what this is called? An ad. Adverb. What do you notice about that word adverb? It's combining two things. Like, I'm pulling out a lot in my schema right now. It's combining two things we've already talked about. What are you noticing, Rachel? Um, it's pulling an adjective. Yeah, it's pulling ad from adjective, and it's a verb. Because you're doing something quietly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What I want you to notice as you're reading in Reader's Workshop, when you notice that an author is using really strong adverbs, out your response journal and kind of keep a list of those. Because what do you think that you can do with that in writing? Use them. Use them. You can use them in your writing to strengthen your writing when you notice mentor authors, when we've talked about mentor authors, when you notice that they use strong adverbs. And when you find yourself using strong adverbs, guess what I want you to do? Go and share it with your writing partner. Take pride in using those strong adverbs and go say, look at this sentence that I created using a strong adverb. 